Austria is a European country with high quality of life and social security. Its universities are prestigious and highly recognized. First, you have to find a university. Fill in the visa application form. Make your documents ready. Call or email the Austrian embassy for an appointment. Submit your application and documents. Sometimes the embassy might interview you, so you need to prepare for that too. Like in any other country, in Austria, you have many options to study. You can apply to public universities, private universities, and universities of applied sciences, or if you are from tourism, hospitality, or teaching you can apply to the Institute of Tourism and Hospitality. Generally, masters are taught through four semesters and bachelors for six semesters. One more thing guys, sometimes the universities have an online placement exam and interviews for the enrollment, it all depends on the course and the university. So keep this also in mind. I am sure you will be surprised when you hear how affordable tuition fees in Austria is for international students. There are many study free options too. Let's look at public universities first. If you are from a designated developing country, you don't have to pay tuition fees. You only need to pay Euro 22 as student's union fee. For example, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Ethiopia, Afghanistan, and there are some other countries, you can check on the university website whether your country is designated as a developing country. If your country is not included on this list don't worry the tuition fees charged by public universities are as low as 750 euros per semester. Let's see what public universities are. Hold on for a second, I'm going to share a good news with you, that is. You can study for free at two universities of applied sciences if you are an international student, wherever you live in from. They are. However, you need to note that most of the courses are offered in German with some modules in English. So, if you have good command of German, you have a chance of getting this opportunity. This is the website of Vorarlberg University of Applied Sciences, FH Vorarlberg. As you see, there are few master courses in English. These are other universities of applied sciences in Austria. Bachelors and masters start from 727 euros onwards per semester. The third option is if you are from the tourism and hospitality field, you can apply to the Institute of Tourism, Hospitality and Teaching it. This institute provides scholarships for developing countries and Austrian Development Corporation priority countries. Check on their website to see if you are eligible to win a scholarship. You have to apply before 31st March 2023 to get enrolled. Other than that there are numerous scholarships offered. For example Erasmus Mundas, which can be applied to if you want to study in Austria. The tuition fees in private universities are higher than these, and ranges between 3,000 and 35,000 euros per year. If you have long-term plans to live in Austria, get the PR I think it's better to check the skill shortage list published by the Austrian government and decide the course you want to do. That is my opinion that it is up to you to decide. The requirements for the level of English depend on your course. The most common way is that IELTS is not mandatory. Instead, Austrian universities accept many other proofs that indicate your level of English. First one, the secondary school leaving certificate where you have completed English subject. If the certificate does not clearly state the level of English proficiency, then the university may ask a confirmation from the school administration. Second one, if you are applying for a master's, you have completed a diploma, bachelor's master's, or even a diploma supplement at a recognized post-secondary institution in English, then you can submit your transcript or certificates as proof of English language level. Third one, if you have completed English language specific courses of more than 150 hours, you can show the transcript or certificate of that course. There are other numerous courses like the B2 level of Cambridge English First Certificate, Cambridge Certificate in Advanced English, and Language Competency Examination by a University Language Center. However, if you have already completed IELTS the requirement for IELTS is 6.5. The English requirement can vary from university to university and from course to course so I just gave you a basic idea of what is accepted and you might need to confirm through the website of the particular university you are applying to. The primary language in Austria is German. 
Most of the bachelors are taught in German and the C1 level of proficiency is needed. However, there are plenty of master's programs taught completely in English. You can check the university's website for more details about the courses available in English. The application period starts from March to April 17th for the academic year 2023-2021, so hurry up and make your documents ready and apply before 17th April. Now that you get your offer letter from the university, it's time to apply for the visa. You can apply for the visa from the Austrian embassy and in some countries like Sri Lanka and Bangladesh you only have Austrian consulate, so you need to call and make an appointment. Visa processing can take time, and you have to submit all the documents three weeks before your departure. Therefore you need to find a suitable university quickly and get the offer letter as soon as possible. There are two types of visa. Visa C which is valid for up to three months. Visa D is valid for up to six months. As a student, you will need Visa D and once you enter Austria you can apply for a student resident permit. In case you wonder how to get the student resident permit, you can apply for it through the visa center in your city once you go to Austria. What are the documents you need? 1. Valid passport Make sure that it does not expire during your stay, if it's to be expired renew your passport as the first step. 2. Visa application form. 3. Travel insurance You should have a cover worth Euro 30,000. When I say 30,000 you guys might think that you should have 30,000 euros. No, the premium is much less and you need to speak to a local insurance company and ask for travel insurance. 4. Identity pictures. 5. Proof of accommodation where you are going to stay. 6. Show money requirement for students up to 24 years old, 552.53 euros per month. For students 24 years old and older, 1,000.48 euros per month. For couples, both, 1,578.36 euros per month. For each child, 37 euros per month. 7. Proof of admission. 8. Proof of paid tuition fee. 9. University records of your previous study if you have any. You have to get the student residence permit from the visa center in your city. You have to get health insurance and a bank account both are mandatory and for both of these, you will be able to get assistance from your university. Working hours. Of course, it's 20 hours per week like in most other countries. You can apply for a visa extension, for which you have to have a very good reason for example if you want to study at another university, of course, you need to provide a very valid reason for that. This option is very unlikely to be accepted. What is more possible is you can apply for the red white red card if you have already found a job, or you can apply to job seeker visa which allows you to stay up to 6 months to find a job and once you find a job you can apply to the red white red card which is valid up to 2 years. Thereafter renew the red white red card until you apply PR. As you know you have to stay for 5 years to get PR in Schengen countries same applies in Austria. I hope I covered all details on studying in Austria, if you have any queries relating to studying in Austria, comment below. I will be very much happy to answer. See you with another video. Stay tuned.